Wow, look at us. It's just us five here. Yeah, the rest of the competition, they all got kicked to the curb. Well, I for one am happy because, you know, the worthless queens are gone. They showed their asses and their worth and it wasn't worth ass. So they're gone. I'm still kind of missing my friend Fitra. I wish she was here with me. I know how you feel, Lance, and I mean, though I didn't really have hardly any friends in this competition. Oh, don't say that. I consider us friends. Oh, I mean, yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, it's just a lot of the girls don't really see me as a drag queen. Oh, that's rubbish. That's other bollocks. You're as good a queen as anyone else. Absolutely. I wonder what today's challenge is going to be. I don't care what it is, as long as I win. That's all that matters. Yeah, well, in case you haven't noticed, Miss Pink Hair Cupcake, there's like, uh, four of us here. So, uh, you're gonna have to beat out the rest of us to win, which I don't see happening. Check it! So, there's only five of us left, and the reality is just now setting in that we're this much closer to the finale. And I'm kind of shaking right now. It is so crazy. I don't care what any of those basic bitches say. I'm going to make it to the finale, and they can all kick rocks the elegy way. I mean, they, they can kick rocks their own way. I'm making it to the ele elegy way. That's, that's my way. That's a good way. I do feel sort of remorseful that Ephedra can't be here with me tonight, but I'm going to soldier on. I'm going to muster all of my willpower to make it to that bloody finale and hopefully to fucking win. How fucking insane would that be coming back home to Rochester with the damn crown? Hi, 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 ladies. We finally reached that time of the season. We're at the penultimate episode, and it's time for Reading is Fundamental. And now the library is officially open. Let's go ahead and uh, start the read off with uh, Bambina Von Bimbo. Okay, the library's officially opened. All right, I guess I gotta read you, Scrubs. Well, uh, I guess this shouldn't take too long. And shouldn't be too hot either. Miss Ella G. Yeah, that's a very clever name, Ella G. Sorrowful, mournful music. In fact, your full name ought to be Dirge, as in Feral Dirge, because your fucking career in drag is flatlining, honey. That Bambina Von Bimbo is such an unfunny, basic fucking bitch, and her read was not on point at all, and it was not funny. I will bet a million thousand bajillion dollars that I am much more renowned and remembered and favored after this season than she is. Bitch. Interesting fact about my friend Ms. Zaltis here. The Z is actually pronounced like an S, so Zaltis. And the reasoning behind that is because she's a very salty bitch. But she doesn't want people to know that. I love you too, sis. Bitch. This lands and towers our only remaining Brightchester brat. I don't know why your grinder profile lists you as a top. You've bought him three times so far. Ooh, we'll come through, Miss Bambina Von Bimbo, you shady fucking bitch. And lastly, and certainly least, Miss Elemento P. Gosh, what can I say about the Miss Elemento P? Every time you come up to perform, that's when I use my time to take a pee. Check it! All right, you ugly whores. I hope you're all ready to be wrecked to filth. Boots the house down. Bambina Von Bimbo? More like Manny Mon Bimbo. Von Nipple. What? What does that even mean? Zaltus, an alien? Ha! More like an extraterrestrial. Because, because you're from it. Yeah, we get it. And that joke was used from season one. Some of these reads are really lukewarm, like, come on girls, it can do better than that. Now, I know your name isn't Brandon Flowers, Landon Towers, because you're no Mr. Brightside! What? <laughs> Was that a new reference to something? Should I have known that? And L and then OP. You can count the alphabet. OMG! Basic! Alright, sluts, let's do this, starting with you first, Bambi. 
Pampina Von Bimbo, your looks are always designer and so on point and, you know, flowing and gorgeous, but what is the point when it's all rent? Oh, you, oh, you bitter bitch. Elegy, I'm just going to call you by your proper name, Requiem, because that's what we're all going to be playing, because your career is in a fucking deadfall. That were the weak. Waldorf, how are you holding on since Statler's been gone? What? <laughs> Again with these references! And little LMNOP. Are you still here? Are you lost? The exit's that way. Oh, that's, that's cute. That's funny. All right, listen up, you sluts. London Towers is coming in for a rough landing, and I ain't using any lubrication, so you better hold on and bite your teeth. I'm gonna describe each and every one of you bitches by a variety of UK common pets. Bambina Von Bimbo. Weasel. What? LG more like wasp Zeltis Adder Snake Miss Elemento P Well let's see Hedgehog For days honey <laughs> What? Okay, let's do this. I've never really read anyone before, so hopefully I can get this right. Alright, let's start with you, Bambina. Bambina Von Bimbo. She likes to call herself Bambi, akin to the beloved Disney cartoon character. Though I can assure you, your career isn't going to take off like Bambi. It's going to take off more like Bambi's mother. It's going to be shot dead. Oh. Hi, uh, Ella G. Yeah, the Muppets called. You are wanted on the set of Sesame Street. That's out this door. Down the street, around the corner, to lot number five. You can't miss it. You know, Zaltus, you're such a smug cunt for someone who's only won, like, two challenges thus far. Well, I mean, they were deserved. Oh, no, 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 honey. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying you're really smug for that fact. I mean, we still have this episode and the finale. You can still go home tonight. Go home tonight. Phone home. Phone home. Land in Towers. Well, I don't really have much of an opinion about Bright Chester. I think that you have really shit taste in friends. I think that Ephedra is a deplorable cunt, but you, you're not so bad. Even if you kind of walk bow-legged like a weird pirate cowboy, uh, I think you're all right. That was a weird read, but I'll take it, I guess. All right, folks, that does it for the library. We're officially closed. And I guess you all want to know who won that reading challenge. Well, I gotta say, Bambi, you knocked it the fuck out of the park. And as such, you are the team captain of this next segment. And uh, stay tuned, because Morgan's gonna show you like a little video thing, and you'll just uh, proceed to do that. Uh, yeah, uh, until next time. Hello ladies, we are but one challenge away from the finale. This will be your pen ultimate assignment. And if you can feel it, there is a sort of magic in the air all around us. For your next to last assignment, you will be meeting with Season 1 and Redemption veteran Jacqueline Queen to work on a witchy woman skit. All five of you are to report to the studio at once and make your funniest witchy segment as a team. And then later, you'll be on the runway wearing your best witchy woman wardrobe. Be there or be square. My name is Jacqueline Queen. I am a veteran of Season 1 of Morgan's Drag Race, and I am the winner of Morgan's Drag Race Redemption. And I have been brought in to put my theatrical talents and musical knowledge to use by whipping these five delinquents into shape, and to film a segment called The Beholden Girls. A play based on witches. 
and the 1980s sitcom The Golden Girls. Without further ado, let's meet the witches. Bonjour, ladies. You've all been brought to my personage to inquire about my Shakespearean talents and theatrical knowledge. I thought we were here to do like some sort of Broadway thing. Actually, Bambina, it is not Broadway, it is classical theater. You should get it right or hold your tongue in place. Oh. And speaking of Bambina, since you did win the Reading is Fundamental Challenge and are the team captain, you have the pick of choosing which character you're going to portray, and you will also be picking out the roles for your sisters. Oh, very interesting. I'm assuming I can unhold my tongue now. Yes, that would be preferable. All right, so uh, let's see here. You know what, Miss Landon from Brychester? You can be the Grand High Witch. Oh, okay, I think, yeah, I can probably knock that out of the park. Uh, Miss Elemento P, you're gonna be the scary godmother because you're scary in real life. Ella G, you're gonna be witchy poo because your head is full of poo. Uh, and Saltus, you're gonna be the Wicked Witch of the West because honestly you're fierce. And I'm gonna be Maleficent because that bitch is iconic. Absolutely. I get to be the most iconic character. All right. Well, uh, let's all get into wardrobe and begin our scenes. Some people may call it sabotage, but I like to call it practical strategizing. You see, I just came off of a bottom two placement and there's no way in hell that I'm going to accept the lead position, which is probably definitely a load bearing roll a make it or break it one and if i'm in the bottom again very good chance i could go home i ain't taking that risk honey check it oh miss sly shady bambina landon knows what you're up to and i'll play ball i'll play ball for now honey you're trying to get rid of the last of the bright chester brats but guess what honey it ain't gonna happen i eat up the stage honey give me that lead roll i'll take it and i'll shove it where the sun don't shine once again, I'm given like a bit background part, and for once, I just wish the other queens could see me for the potential that I have. I have so much to show. I've been doing consistently well. I've gotten wins. I haven't been in the bottom since episode two, but they still see me as nothing. And I wonder if it's like they just don't like me or they're genuinely resentful of that fact. Witches, you are all too basic these days. Back in my day, we were much more fierce. Oh, well, maybe you should explain to us, Maleficent, since you're so much older than all of us. Yes, much older. Very old. Picture it. Enchanted Forest, 1777. I was gorgeous, but I was disinvited from a wedding or something, and people were very angry at me, so I turned them all, I made them all go to sleep, or, no, that's not it. I put a curse on the baby girl. Oh! My sister was killed, but the house fell on her, and she died, and some tramps stole her shoes. The hand of glory tells the bird the messenger will arrive soon. Oh no, I sure hope it's not an HR Puffin stuff. Oh, I hate that fucker. Now, now, girls, let us consult the cauldron, for the cauldron never lies. Fee fi fo fum. By the pricking of my thumbs, 
Something wicked this way comes. Oh, that's good, girls. Keep up that momentum. Keep up that momentum. Just keep up. What the bloody hell is going on over here? Just what do you miserable slugs think you're doing? Hmm? Oh no, it's the Grand High Witch. Should we hide? No, you idiot. She's right there. She can see us. Oh, stop delaying the inevitable. You sluts are abusing the magical powers of darkness. Did I give you expressly written consent that you could consult with the souls on the other side? Hmm? Did I? Well, I mean, not exactly, but exactly, you know, the, the rules, the consequences, and so do I. You are in deep shite, Maleficent, and I banish thee from the kingdom of eternal LGBTdom to the kingdom of basicality. And you too, Witchy Poo, if you don't watch your words. And scary godmother, you better be more scary. And wicked witch, you're such a basic bitch. You all make me sick. Now be gone. Bravo, ladies. Bravo. That was a very riveting retelling of... Honestly, I don't think it was really based on anything, but Lantern, might I say, you knocked your role out of the park. Bambina, you were definitely a wonderful supporting lead. L, keep those acting chops sharp. Zaltus, Ella, might I re recommend a refresher course in acting. Seriously. I would not give up your day jobs. Well, if you know tonight's runway theme, it is also witchy women, so you may use the rest of this time to prepare. With that, I bid the five of you adieu and break a leg. That's theater speak for good luck. Hopefully I did not just jinx you lot right now. And I am in no way bitter that I was eliminated from my original season and won a grand total of nothing from redemption. Goodbye. Am I still lamenting the past? Am I still bitter? Some may say so. I would refute that, as I believe I have moved on, and I've secured a position here at Starfang Plus Presents, and I'm doing what I love doing, which is bossing young people around. A deal. I should not have had that turkey and rye for lunch. Hello, judges. Is he Siobhan? I must say, you both look magical this evening. <laughs> Morgan, this whole challenge is right up my alley because I was a warlock and I didn't even know it. <laughs> I believe the rhyme is poet and didn't know it, Izzy. Oh, whatever. Morgan, I'm ready to see the queens be the witchiest, bitchiest, and meanest for tonight's runway. Earlier this week, the queens were tasked with creating their own witchy woman runway look. It's supposed to be awe-inspiring, and magically themed, and overall witchy. So, without further ado, let's do further and reveal my queens! And first up from San Michino, it's Bambina Von Bimbo! Von Bimbo? More like Von Haunt. She looks like an old school uh, witch, maybe from the old school Wizard of Oz books. I like this look, it's kind of understated, but it also seems kind of high fashion at the same time. Bambina really knows how to capture a look, and I think she did it with this one. You know, you know clock the flat shoes, they're, all, they're almost flat, there's a heel. That's something like an old-timey witch would wear. Someone who's, who doesn't care about appearance, because she's, she's all about power. And uh, I think she captured this look well, I think. And 
and up next from Glimmerbrook, it's LG. Oh, I'm not feeling this look so far. I'm not feeling the walk. Uh, that strut, while confident, is kind of killing the vibe for me. And I'm tending to agree, this looks more like a glam, almost like an Amazon beauty look. Like a professional model look. She took a witch hat and put it on, some gothic gloves, uh, some stripper heels, and a very elaborate skirt. Uh, some monochromatic, uh, chromatic makeup, hair color. Um, it doesn't scream witchy woman to me. I, I'm leaning on green with you, Izzy. And up next from Brindleton Bay, it's LMNOP. Is that the Grand High Witch? Is it the Vampire Queen? Is it the Witch Queen? No, it's LMNOP as she's ready to cast a spell on you. Look at this. I love this gothic black dress with the the um the frill in the back, um, the little choker with the ruby, um, the bob. I love the ginger bob. I love that very Carol Burnett. Um, the makeup. I love. I like the makeup. It's just not giving me um, witchy woman. But I like it. Everything else I like. I probably would have either kept the armband or the bracelet, but not both. Remember what Coco Chanel said, before you leave the house, take one thing off. Um, overall, I like this look. I agree, I like it. I agree with you said on that, too. Um, the dress kind of makes me feel more like vampire. It could be used for vampires or witches, I think. I mean, look at it. It's gothic realness. Yeah, I, I, I guess I see your point. And from Rochester, it's Landon Towers. Look at that walk. Look at the look. She has given me voodoo empress, voodoo queen. I love this look. I have to say, out of all the queens tonight on the runway, this is the most unique. I love the face paint. I love the feather earrings. It's all very, like, kind of tribal voodoo. Um, it's a very unique take. It's like New Orleans. It's It's old school, it's new school. I love it. I love this look. You would have to be crazy, Morgan, to not see this as a high look this evening. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, our 6am queen, Zaltis. Wow, she looks amazing. She looks absolutely stunning, but it's not witchy woman. Now, I could see maybe some kind of witch, maybe, but the reference is kind of lost on me. Uh, she just looks like a very glamorous woman in dark, but not necessarily a witch. I mean, it's Zaltus. She's always gorgeous, but I'm inclined to agree with you both. I don't see witchy woman. Thank you, ladies. You may retire to the lounge for a drink while we judges deliberate. Okay, judges, let's talk about the Queen's performances in the Beholden Girls television pilot. What are your thoughts on, well, our remaining five? I thought Bambina was good. I thought Landon was excellent. Um, Ella was good. Wasn't feeling Zaltus or Elegy. I agree. Uh, Landon was clearly the star of that show. Um, Zaltus and Ella, well, one was a case of being overshadowed by her peers and the other was just too weird and didn't really gel well and i agree with both of you on those accounts let's talk about the queen's uh runway okay judges who do we think are our tops and bottoms of the week i am sadly not impressed with zaltus's look um i'm gonna need to hear some explanations from her on that I think so too. Um, definitely, uh, the reference is lost, whatever it was. She didn't really look like a witch. A glamorous lady, yes. A witch, no. What do we feel about elegies? I feel almost the same. Uh, kind of like a goth mix punk, but not witchy woman. Same. How do we feel about Bambina this week? I thought she did really good on the video, but the runway was good. It didn't 
you know, like, I'm kind of like, okay, this is next to the finale. She should be, if she was in the bottom once already, she needs to really impress. And I was just kind of like, yo, it's a good look. It's, it's not blowing me away. I kind of agree. Um, I thought it was good. Um, too many accessories, maybe too little or too much. I can't really decide. It's just not my favorite look of the night. I like it, but it's not the best. Okay, what do we feel about Landon Towers? I love that look. Uh, for me, she's the only one who sees winner tonight. Absolutely. You'd be crazy not to nominate her as the winner for tonight's challenge because she just looks amazing. Okay, um, let's bring back my queens. All right, ladies, would the following please step forward? Landon Towers, Ella G, and Zeltis. Thank you. All right, ladies, the three of you represent the highs and the lows of this week's challenge. I'm going to give you three a very unique opportunity and a chance to explain your looks to us judges before we make our final decisions for the night. We're going to go ahead and start with you, Elegy, then Zaltus, and then Landon. And then we will commence with our decision and the preceding elimination. My look, I am a hot, sexy, young teen starlet runaway vampire queen witch from an Anne Rice novel. I thought that much was obvious, Morgan, and I'm very, very surprised. Oh, interesting. Thank you for kind of, sort of explaining that. Zaltis, can you please explain away your look for us? Well, my look is basically a mixture of The Witch of the Waste from Howl's Moving Castle, which is both an anime and a novel, and sort of like The Wicked Witch of the West, as she was like the homunculus lust which is also an anime oh my god my weeaboo side is so coming out tonight i apologize but i can understand you not really getting the references at first but i can totally assure you they are on point with the witchy woman theme okay well thank you zeltis landon towers can you please explain to us judges your look tonight what it represents Oh, my look is not voodoo queen morgan it's not voodoo empress you see, it is Voodoo Gortis. I am of New Orleans, all of Louisiana, rolled into one, honey. And I am here, and I am queer, I am a queen, I'm a snake, I'm a goddess, I'm a shark, and I'm gonna snatch up souls, honey. And I'm calling my contacts on the other side of the door, honey. That's right. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Okay, ladies, I have made my decision. Landon Towers, congratulations, darling. You are the winner of this week's challenge. And as such, you are privy to 3,500 llama bucks and a witchy wardrobe inspired by bewitching designs. I am ever so jealous. You may return to the backstage with the other Dave girls. Who's in the bottom this week? Not me, not Miss Brightchester, no. I actually won a fucking challenge all by myself. I am so bloody proud I could plot. I think I might shit, actually. Elegy, Zaltis, my dears, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that leaves the both of you up for elimination by default. Learning that you're in the bottom really makes it feel like it is literally a life or death situation. I've never in the, been in the bottom before. I'm speechless. What the actual hell was Morgan and the judges thinking by putting me in the bottom? I am left agape. Clearly, my my performance in the show was excellent, and my runway was fucking excellent. Are they blind? So, the time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Good luck. Please don't flunk it up.
Okay, so I'm in the bottom. Big deal. I'm still going to do my thing. I'm going to pull out all the tricks, all the magical spells that I've got tucked away under my sleeve, because it is a magical themed runway, and I'm going to send that bitch out his home, and I'm going to win! That's how it works. I have never been in the bottom. I've never had a lip sync before. I am almost shitting myself, because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm confident in myself, but I've never seen Elegy lip sync before. This is, without a doubt, the craziest lip sync I have seen this season. Like, Zaltus is doing things, and Elegy is using props, and this and that. It is nuts. How did they even plan all this? I'm under your spell. I have made my decision. Oh, what the hell. Shantae, you both stay. We'll go into our finale as a top five. Now, with that said, I want all of you to know that this is it. We are at the finale. We have one week left, one final challenge, one final chance to win it all. Make this chance count. Now with that said, let the music play. What?